Okay, <laughs> I was wrong. <laughs> uh, he's agreeing to lay down right now. He's being quiet. And I think he has gotten the point that if he tries to lick his stitches, he's getting that silly thing put on his head. So let's see. I got to kind of keep an eye on him, but I have to share this. I went to a video to watch from um, Kathy and Dan on Grafted In Team Jesus on Brideon.com. And they started off sharing this video from YouTube from Crazy About Jesus, y'all. I used to listen to her quite a bit. She's been sitting in her car in the dark praying in the spirit a lot and she started getting these words and I'm going to share this with you now she does pray in the spirit so I pray that does not cause you any fear or to leave because it is of the Lord you have to accept the fact that there are supernatural things going on praying in the spirit is one of them people getting dreams and visions it's strange things happening God can do whatever he wants. So can the enemy. So we use discernment. All right. With that, I'll go ahead and play this. You guys, I'm sitting here in my car right now. It's 10.13 p.m. The Holy Spirit, I cannot stop speaking in tongues. Lord Jesus, I... I am receiving the words nuclear. I have been receiving the words and I'm shaking out with the boom nuclear. You guys, this is serious. Something major is coming and it's within days. I cannot stop speaking in tongues. I, I, I come to you guys. Someone needs more confirmation for me, Lord Jesus. Father God, send someone. Oh, my dog has been walking across town where our... Where our our shop is. She's been leaving the house. She will not leave our side. She knows something is coming. Something major is coming. You guys, we just had the 7.1 earthquake. We've had Mexico and another one 5.3 over there in California. You guys, something major is coming. The annex is, is on July 1st. You guys, this is serious, serious business. Everyone is feeling it in their spirits. They've been having dreams. I got woken up at 2.22 a.m. this morning with the words, Mary, get out of bed. And I said, no. I heard Mary, get out of bed, get out of bed, get out of bed. I am coming. You guys understand, please. 2.22 means a, the flame of God. It also means two Israelites, which means that the two witnesses are coming, which means that the anti Christ is getting ready to sign this after right after the attack. Jesus Christ is coming into the clouds of glory. He's coming any day, guys, and I've not been getting messages like this, but this is urgent. You guys need to pray like it is your last day. Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm going to just stop it there, and um, it's just only four minutes, but this was put up June 24th. Today is the 29th. What's supposed to happen in Israel is supposed to happen July 1st, which would be starting on our June 30th, which is why I went ahead and put the dog down to see how he would do so I could put this video up because I don't know. I don't know about the whole, uh, I mean, I just, Jesus gave me two or three messages about Barack Obama being the Antichrist. And I'm not alone in this. There are hundreds of people 
who had received dreams and visions and messages that he was the one. So I don't know how he could be involved in any signing of the division, but, but that might not be the covenant with many spoken of in Daniel. But it's still, if there's a, a law or something signed that divides Israel and they all accept it so that part of Israel that belongs to Israel will now belong to the Palestinians. If we have a part in that, God said, if you divide my land, I will divide yours. I don't know where that scripture is. I just know there is one. In fact, I'll look it up because someone asked me about it earlier and I didn't know where it was. Okay. If you divide my... There it is. Popped right up. Joel or Joel 3 verse 2 uh, then in the Judgment Valley I will bring together the nations that scattered my dot dot dot. They have scattered the Israelites in foreign countries and divided Israel, my land, dot dot dot, for scattering my inheritance among the nations and dividing up my land. And this is the Message Bible. Um, let's see here. Interesting that this one article is by Joel C. Rosenberg. Message of warning to the nations. Do not divide land. Uh, okay, now here's another one. It's saying Joel, Joel 3.2. I will gather all the nations and bring them down. Let me just go there. Joel 3.2. Two. Whoops. <laughs> Getting ahead of myself. Oh, by the way, that means not what you think. See there again. I've grown up. I'm almost 65, and that was always A OK. -okay. See how it's in A? It's in sign language or something that that means A-OK. -okay. And look what Satan has made it into. Oh, if you do that, it, you're a 666 person. But I'm not. So you, you may catch me doing it. And you may catch others doing it. So be careful by judging people if they do that. Pay attention to why are they doing it? Are they saying something that's talking about something being A-OK -okay versus just doing it dur during a sentence that has nothing to do with something being A-OK -okay or all right or, or whatever? Just, just be careful on that. All right. This is the book of Joel. Why did the King James Version change it to Joe? Joe. J-O-E. It's not Joe. I'm going to the NASB. It's Joel. Well, here it's... Well, maybe it only gives the first three letters. The nations will be judged. For behold, in those days and at that time... When I restore the fortunes of Judah and Jerusalem, I will gather all the nations and bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat. Then I will enter into judgment with them there on behalf of my people and my inheritance, Israel. The mys are capitalized. That's Jesus talking. Or, or it could be Father whom they have scattered among the nations, and they have divided up my land. They have also cast lots for my people, 
traded a boy for a harlot. See? Traded the Jews into slavery. The Jews have been in and out of slavery in their history a lot. And sold a girl for wine that they may drink. Moreover, what are you to me, O Tyre, Sidon, or Sidon, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, and all the regions of Philistia? Are you rendering me a recompense? Me, the Lord is talking. Are you rend rendering me a recompense? But if you do recompense me, Swiftly and speedily I will return your recompense on your head. Since you have taken my silver and my gold, brought my precious treasures to your temples, and sold the sons of Judah and Jerusalem to the Greeks in order to remove them far from their territory, Behold, I am going to arouse them from the place where you have sold them and return your recompense on your head. Also, I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the sons of Judah, and they will sell them to the Sabians, Sabians, to a distant nation. For the Lord has spoken. Proclaim this among the nations. Prepare a war. Rouse the mighty men. Let all the soldiers draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords. And your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am a mighty man. Hasten and come, all you surrounding nations, and gather yourselves there. Bring down, O oh Lord, your mighty ones. Hmm. This sounds to me like the Battle of Armageddon, doesn't it to you? Which is when, uh, at the end of the seven years, or the end of the Great Tribulation, Gather all you surrounding nations and gather yourselves there. Bring down, O oh Lord, your mighty ones. When Jesus returns to set up his kingdom on earth, all the saints in heaven will return with him on horses behind him. Let the nations be aroused and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. For there I will sit to judge all the surrounding nations. Put in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come, tread, for the winepress is full. The vats overflow, for their wickedness is great. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision, for the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. Okay, now the day of the Lord, I thought the day of the Lord was at the sixth seal. Hmm. Are there two days of the Lord at the sixth seal? For the day, it says, rocks fall on us. We're all the rich men, the mighty men, their slaves, and all the elite run into the caves and cry out, rocks fall on us for the day of his wrath has come. And who will be able to stand it? That's what it says. The day of his wrath. Maybe that isn't the day of the Lord. Perhaps the day of the Lord is when he comes back for the get battle of Armageddon. When Satan gets thrown into the bottomless pit and the top is, he gets chained down there and the, and the top is put on 
The lid is put on the top of the pit, however it's worded. And the Antichrist and the false prophet get thrown into the lake of fire. That's at the Battle of Armageddon. The sun and the moon grow dark, and the stars lose their brightness. Hmm. The Lord roars from Zion. He utters his voice from Jerusalem, and the heavens and the earth tremble. But the Lord is a refuge for his people and a stronghold to the sons of Israel. Then you will know that I am the Lord your God, dwelling in Zion, my holy mountain. So Jerusalem will be holy, and strangers will pass through it no more. Yeah, that's that Jews, Jerusalem doesn't become holy. All that happens when Jesus comes. Not for the rat, not to call us home in the rapture but comes to earth and sets his foot down on Mount Zion. Okay, but there's just four more verses. Judah will be blessed, and in that day the mountains will drip with sweet wine, and the hills will flow with milk, and all the brooks of Judah will flow with water, and a spring will go out from the house of the Lord to the valley to water the valley of Shittim, or Acacius. How do you say that? Egypt will become a waste, and Edom will become a desolate wilderness because of the violence done to the sons of Judah, in whose land they have shed innocent blood. But Judah will be inhabited forever, and Jerusalem for all generations. And I will avenge their blood, which I have not avenged, for the Lord dwells in Zion. See how prophetic the Old Testament can be? Part of it was the Old Testament, because I don't think anybody's selling Jews into slavery now. But that happened. But there's, I don't see where it said specifically, if you divide my land, I will divide your land. I guess it's implied. Okay, so. It doesn't say, it just talks about dividing the land. It's more implied right there. Okay, so what I did, I, I made a mistake. <laughs> no, I went to Okay, I think it was this one. All right. Okay, that's Kathy. And I have to go down here to crazy about Jesus, y'all. Okay. Now, this is the one you were listening to. I, need, you got I needed this so I can put it in the description box. Okay, so I'm going to plead the blood of Jesus over this and over the word that I read. I hope that um, I just read it. I didn't really... Um, comment on it all that much but it's obvious to me that it was partly already filled and partly not filled part of it will be filled at the battle of armageddon 
So anyway, I plead the blood of Jesus over this video. And if something happens on the 1st, like the new Madrid fault goes and the country splits, are we raptured before it? Or do we do we get protected from it? We'll find out. But but one thing I wanted to read, I did want to read when I a video, but it was it was something about fear, not fearing. I'll find it and I'll try to remember to put it in the in a comment. Okay, when I find it, because I'm not there now. I wasn't planning to make another video. So, um, I'll finish pleading the blood of Jesus over this video and the internet connection myself and my computer and over each and every one of you and your devices and your internet connections. And please share this with if you feel this is something that should get out like tonight, then... Please share it with all you can. I'm going to go ahead and share it to Facebook. And um, you just do as the Spirit leads you. Okay? Because there might not be anything happen. Uh, but in the Spirit. I, we just don't know yet. So, um, we'll see. Alright? So, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.